What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another summary video. Now today we are going to go through the second story in the second Tales from the Pizzaplex book and that is of course, Haps. Now this story is quite interesting, uh, It's I, I would say it's a very mid-tier story, well it's at least mid-tier compared to the other stories that we've already had in this series. Like the first four stories were all absolutely mind-blowing. This one isn't as mind-blowing but it's still a really good story so I suggest watching to all of the way this all, all, uh, yeah yeah and of course make sure that you like the video and you subscribe for more content like this tomorrow we will also be covering the final story B7 which is going to be a very interesting one anyway let's get straight into Haps now this one there is uh, still a little bit of significance uh, but we are introduced to a boy called Aiden. I believe he's 15. I could be wrong about that, but I think I read 15. Don't think I wrote it down. I have five pages of notes, and I just didn't write down that he was 15. Anyway, Aiden, he runs out of the laser tag arena. So this is probably in the Mega Pizzaplex itself. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And he runs out of the laser tag area with a swollen eye because somebody had elbowed him in the eye. And all these girls laugh at him, all these girls recognise him from school and that's uh, that's something that you need to point out because there was an incident with Aiden where he was in a talent show and he fell off the stage and that is now why he is unpopular. Um, but he's not unpopular to his one friend Jace who is also at the Pizzaplex with him and he tells him to just ignore the girls. But uh, Aiden just hates being treated like crap by everybody. He wants to have some control over his life and some control over other people's life. It seems kind of psychopathic. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other thing that is psychopathic is the fact that Jace has got a Swiss army knife that he got from his birthday. It seems like there's no security in, in the Mega Pizzaplex. He, he has a Swiss army knife in the Pizzaplex. So, no security, <laughs> good job Fazbear Entertainment again. Um, now, Jace suggests that they go to Freddy's Fortress, which is a giant tube maze, and uh, in that tube maze there is a robot called HAPS, and HAPS stands for Helpful Automated Pipes Protection Server, which is a good name, and it's a robot that basically checks that everything in the maze is in complete order. When children get stuck in the maze, he helps them out, blah blah blah, uh, he's basically just a helpful robot that goes around the maze. Uh, and oh yeah, there's one thing to note about this Pizzaplex, it is pizza shaped. Uh, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about Freddy's Fortress. Basically in Freddy's Fortress there are these kind of like mirror, uh, mirror partitions. So what I mean by that is like basically when they try, when the people clean out the areas of this maze they put like mirror partitions there so that the children don't go into there while they're cleaning it. So there's like multiple different routes in this maze area, but there are also mirror partitions um, that are there for when they're cleaning it. I hope that made sense. It kind of makes sense as you go through the story if you don't understand it right now, because they are actually very um, prevalent in this story and you're going to need to know more about them. But we'll get there. Uh, basically, uh, Haps was a robot that was made to help children that were stuck and also to cut down on employees. Now, I don't know about this, but it could be the beginning of the staff massacre thing that happened uh, in Security Breach where they replaced all of the workers with staff bots. That's why we, we only see Vanessa as the only human in the Pizzaplex in Security Breach. So uh, that's something to kind of put down but it seems like um, this is when the Pizzaplex first kind of opened because there are a lot of things similar to Under Construction. Under Construction took place in May and that was when the Pizzaplex was first opened. Anyway that's completely off topic again we'll talk about that later. So these pipes are made from a certain polymer that makes them soundproof. I wonder if that will come into play later on in the story. Probably. Uh, Aiden sees these kids that he wants to scare inside the maze and so he pops out the corner and jump scares these kids and they all run away, all except for one and the one child 
we didn't scare and we didn't run away from Aiden says, You're mean! Uh, <laughs> and of course, Aiden and Jace, they both feel very uh, upset about that. They feel bad uh, that they did that and now they want to leave. But then they see Haps. And, and Haps is like, Hello, I'm Haps. Are you lost? I don't know why he has that accent, but I'm going with it. I'm going to have fun doing the audiobooks for this. Uh, they say they are completely fine, so Haps is happy, you know? And he does a thumbs up, he does, yay! Uh, so, Aiden and Jace uh, kind of walk out, and they're like, you know what, we should follow around Haps, Haps is pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, they, yeah, they, they go around the tube maze even more, and they slide into this ball pit area, and they find a part of this pipe maze that is like completely cut off, completely isolated from the rest of the tube maze, they can't access it. And I'm assuming, I mean, I say I'm assuming, but I know that it's because of these kind of mirror um, partitions. Uh, you cannot get to certain areas because they're under construction or they're down for cleaning or whatever. Um, so that's interesting there. And they want to go into this out of bounds area that they can't get to. They want to find some sort of opening or some sort of entrance to get there. Uh, so, they go into the tube maze again, and they go towards the area where they want to get to, but it's a dead end. But, luckily, Aiden notices the partition, the, the mirror partition that we've been talking about for so long, uh, and he tries to kick it open, but he can't. It's, it's really strong, apparently, and Haps then catches them, or, okay, Haps finds them, and asks if they're lost and uh, they say they're fine but he then picks them up and pushes them, he drags them away from the partition and he says you are lost I will lead you out of Freddy's fortress please come with me I really like that I really like how he doesn't listen he, he knows that they are doing something wrong and so he he does his job and pushes them out the out the way um, so, what do they do? Well, they resist. They push Haps back, they push him away, they kick him. They literally kick him into, like, the wall. They say, shut up, and Haps is just there saying the same catchphrase over and over. He's saying, you are lost, I will take you out of Freddy's fortress, please come with me. And he's just got this massive grin on him while he does it. It infuriates Aiden and Jace, and they kick him to, to not to death, but they kick him a lot. And uh, what happens? Well, the pipe breaks. The pipe in the air, it breaks, they fall off, they, they fall down, and into the area they were trying to get into all along. They are now in the area that's cut off from everything else, completely isolated, and Haps has disappeared. And uh, the more they look and search around the place, they realise there really is no escape, you know? They are in this completely isolated place and there's no way to get back through the partitions maybe yeah but maybe maybe they they, they can get through it or something i mean we know that uh jace has a swiss army knife maybe he can get through there so uh they start to worry like like a lot because there's no way to get out of here uh, and they want to find uh the partition to get back and something to bridge the gap with because of course there's now a, a massive gap in the tube maze i think they also mentioned that they should just wait there uh, wait for someone to fix it but when you think about it no one's going to come and fix it because haps is the worker there you know haps is the one who would fix it i think maybe i don't know that's just kind of like a mini theory on the side but like i don't think they could have waited so they get to the partition and they're hearing scraping noises behind them. That's that's really weird. What's happening? Haps is completely gone. Uh, well, clearly not because they're scraping. But he kicks the partition six times and finally breaks it down. Uh, and then he realizes there is also another partition uh, on the other side of that partition. I Maybe I misunderstood that part, but they broke something down and then there was a partition on the other side that they couldn't get through. So basically, it was a dead end that when you broke through it, led to another dead end. It's like tunneling out a cave. Anyway, <laughs> then they see Haps coming towards them. 
Uh, he is really badly damaged, just like on the cover, which I was expecting. And he has a voice box error, so he's, his voice sounds kind of demonic now. Uh, and he reaches toward them, so they start running. Uh, Haps lost his gloves, so basically he had these gloves on, but when the gloves came off, he now has these like pincers, and uh, he is dangerous. He is very dangerous. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, then they find a ladder, and they're like, Haps cannot climb the ladder, surely. So they climb the ladder, and they were right, Haps cannot climb the ladder. Uh, a mirror partition again closes and it cuts Haps off. They start screaming for help, but nobody can hear them. Do you know why? Because the, the tube maze is made of the polymer that we were talking about earlier. Chekhov's polymer. Now, they actually have a little bit of space to run around until Haps actually controls the partitions in the tube maze so that they have limited space. They basically He basically shuts doors and stuff around the tube maze uh, in order to come and get them. Uh, so I don't really know what Haps' motivation is to kind of like hurt these children. I don't know, maybe that's something you need to theorize about. Uh, he could be possessed, uh, or it could just be part of his programming, like faulty programming, or it could be glitch trap, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, so let me know about that. But um, yeah, Haps is shutting all of these partitions, uh, and Jace is like feeling really sorry at this point. They are crying to death. Well, not to death, but they are crying. Haps comes closer and closer to them, and then they find another ladder. And they're like, well, we, we've already done this act, this whole thing. They can't, he can't climb the ladder. So they climb the ladder. Turns out, Haps has learnt how to climb a ladder. Let's go, Haps. They hurry down a pipe to a dead end, and they get locked in a room with Haps himself. Haps reaches for Aiden, but Jace is able to stab him with his knife. They knock him into a dead end pipe. And Aiden wants to pull out his circuitry, but uh, in order to do that, they need to get close to him. So they sneak up to him while he's while he's toppled over, and then uh, he get, goes towards the circuitry, and boom, he slashes his cheek. Haps is back up again, and he's chasing them, and they all enter a ball pit, and here is where the story goes from a two to a ten. Jace tries to hide inside the ball pit where they both are, but Haps grabs onto his ankle and slashes off his foot. Uh, he does it to the other foot as well, and he also grabs onto his shoulder, but luckily Aiden is able to pull him away from Haps before the shoulder comes off. This is absolutely terrifying, honestly. Um, Aiden, um, yeah, Aiden pulls him into the closest pipe and runs away as fast as possible. He is out, so out of breath at this point. Um, but Haps grabs onto Jace and blood pours out of his mouth. Uh, he blinks once and then his entire body just goes limp. He's dead. Jace is dead. Do, 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 do. Uh, joking. I think I ruined the moment. Uh, Aiden is just running, crying completely out of breath and wanting to puke. Uh, Haps reverses to catch up with him going a different route uh, and at this point also Aiden is badly damaged he's, his skin on his on his knees are completely gone they're just completely raw um, so yeah and we are almost at the end he runs around the pipes to realize that all of the junctions are actually partitions so Really, the whole reality of this is, if he wants to stay alive, he's going to have to run around in circles forever, running away from Haps. So, he, can, he kind of accepts his fate, and he looks through a one-way win window back into the pizza plex, and he sees all these kids having fun, and he realised that he's finally gotten his wish, that he's always wanted, to just be completely invisible to, from everyone, and for everyone to leave him alone. And there you go. There is Haps. Um, as I say, like, like even just kind of reading the summary, I was kind of like a little bit bored. There's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, going to the same places over and over again. I mean, of course, they are trapped in one area. There's not much they can really do. But it's a really cool concept. Uh, it was executed pretty well. Uh, I just think there was a lot more potential for the story. Um, I do think it's a really good story, though. I, I just think it's a little bit mid. Okay. It's not excellent. 
uh, like Help Wanted was, because Help Wanted is actually my favourite story. So I'm not going to spend too much time going over theories, um, well, and I'm not going to go over theories at all, I'm going to do that in a separate video probably. But one thing I do want to point out is that this story happens probably at the same time as Under Construction. If this is truly in the Mega Pizzaplex, which I think it is, they mentioned a VR booth. They mentioned the Fast Freddy roller coaster that was mentioned in Under Construction. They mentioned the roleplay area, which was mentioned also in Under Construction and is upcoming in a story in Somnophobia. And uh, in Under Construction, they actually did mention a hiding tube maze. Um, oh, it's not hiding tube maze. Was it a hiding tube maze? Uh, no, just the tube maze. Uh, in Under Construction that kind of loops around. Wait, I've got the quote here. It's sliding plastic pipes that entwined with Fast Freddy. So there you go. Uh, this story takes place probably at the same time sort of as Under Construction. Basically when the Pizza Plex was first opened up because a lot of these rides aren't in security breach so we know that they they were only there when they first opened up and then they rebranded and whatever they took out rides they put more rides in blah 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 we do have Fazza Blast so we know that it kind of has to be the Mega Pizza Plex uh, but yeah what do you think of this story do you have any theories for it uh, yeah I don't really know what else to say except thank you so much for watching make sure you uh, you like the video and you subscribe and I will see you in another video goodbye <laughs>